Hello, everybody, and welcome to my brother, my brother, me, and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your head coach, Travis McElroy. Great Iron Griffin McElroy here to bring the fucking football heat. Pigskin Pete is what they call me. Just and Gridiron Gritty. And I, Gridiron Griffin gritty always iron gritty. gritty. Gr- Justin, me. I have a question for you. Justin? Yes. Are you ready for some football? Well, Travis, uh, that was a Dad, trick question because it's here. Whether you're ready or fucking not, coward. Yeah, it's a, every day of the week we're playing football on the professional level in the National Football League. Mm-hmm. I am proud to announce that my uh, dad has guilted me into joining the Fantasy Football League because he couldn't find anybody else to join it for the fifth consecutive year. Yeah, he stopped. <laughs> and he is, st- I don't know what it means that he has stopped asking me. Does, what is that? Am I out of the will or what, what does that mean? Why am I so far from the light of our father? I, I, you know what? I, I actually said, you know, I'm going to make a run at it this year. I'm going to, I'm going to make a run at the crowd. Oh, yeah? So I'm going to pay attention when draft time comes around. Mm, so yeah. I sat in, I logged in for the draft. Um, I, we did have to restart the draft because the very old people in this league could not figure out how to get it all running. Yeah. Hyperlinks, man. They're fucked up. They got all kinds of letters and symbols in them. It's crazy. Yeah. So we, uh, so yeah, we had to do it twice. And then I got to the draft and, uh, here's what, here's where I get. Yeah. Yeah. Break it down, Justin. uh, Here's where I got tripped up. How Uh do you know? Yeah. Which of these guys is going to score the most points? Great question. Cause I, here's what I did. Look for someone who has your same first name. You okay. draft them right away. I got Travis. On the list. I think it's Kelky. Travis Kelky. I got him right away because his yep. name is Travis. Uh, and he looked, he looked, I don't know, like he was good at football. Like I look at him and I'm like. Travis, pa- Travis Pastrana. I, I Travis got, got him. And I, that's a weird one. Travis Tritt is also on Travis's yeah. team as a flex position, yeah. which is weird. Well, because I wanted to flex on the other team's. Yeah, to be like, look how look how many Travis's I got. You I, know mean, I mean, I've had a tried and true strat for the last I don't know ten seasons, and that's to just lock down my boy A Rod, Aaron Rodgers, Go Pat Go, <laughs> Lambo Leap, my big man out there. Um, unpopular opinions, yes. <laughs> big thoughts, has right? big thoughts, big ideas, big thoughts, big, big dreams, big points. You know, big points. <laughs> but when he dons the golden yellow, yeah, and he goes out there and throws that beautiful goddamn orb, yeah. down the field. Everybody's cheering and yelling, and I'm cheering and yelling because I'm looking at my points. Yeah, rack up on the fantasy league. That's why I this year. I put all of my draft points. I invested high. I got one team. I got one guy, right? I got, yeah. and I pushed all my money onto Tom Brady. Because, like, that guy, so talented and can really fuck the hell out of yeah. a mattress. And so oh, I was yeah. like, that guy loves fucking those Serta Sealy Posturepedics. He goes with the old guy down to the vault. The old guy lets him in and says, do you need anything else, Mr. Brady? And he goes, no, just me. I'm going to raw dog that mattress real quick because I just want to – touchdown competition and they're like All right. go on in anyways so he's the only team member i have this year i'm very excited for my chances and freeze now i feel like we should talk to our friends who are listening who don't know about football stuff and explain why those jokes were okay so Absolutely. tom brady did, uh, Roy, tom brady did this commercial where he fucked a mattress Thank you, um, in a go vault inside, go deeper go deeper and there's an old man there who's horrified that he has to do this job but i think and it's the only freeze. way freeze Hey, everybody. Now, some of you are wondering why we're even talking about football in the first place. And let me say this. Until Hollywood decides to pay actors and writers what they are owed, the strike will continue. And if the strike continues, we have nothing to talk about. This This is because of Hollywood. Blame them. This is all we have. And unfreeze. So the old man again. Remember, Uh, with the kick. And freeze again. With the kick, we're only of one layer. And freeze again. Well, wait. Are we going back down into and my freeze layer? It back to Justin's or? level. Back to the back to Justin's level. Okay. Freeze. okay. If the strike isn't over by the time that Tim Chalamet's take on a classic beloved character hits theaters, I am going to be heartbroken okay. at a level that I don't think I'll be able to come back from. It, it may will truly be my the greatest career. cost of the strike. It would be the greatest cost of the strike. Please, 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 execs, please buckle. 
please. please. You're not going to win this one. The- you guys are. You guys are. You can't do this shit without the writers and actors. Please. Here's the thing that's fucked up. Chalamet wants it too. Chalamet wants told it me so like, bad. if I don't hear your twisted take, yeah. on my um, on my walk of vision, yeah. my, then I I I don't know what I'll do. J man is what he yeah. told me. Is what Chalamet he needs told me. It. Can we kick yeah. back up to my level? Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Kick- <laughs> And until this strike's done, I will talk about how Tom Brady fucks mattresses every episode of this podcast. That's Aaron, my protest. Okay. Aaron Rodgers, pretty anti vax. It also doesn't play for the Packers anymore. It plays for the Jets. Well, I bet he, he doesn't would play fuck for a mattress anyone. if he had the chance. He probably would fuck a mattress. He's probably going to be fucking a lot of mattresses. He's laid up right now. I did tear his uh, Achilles. Of course he did. He's 100 years drive. old. <laughs> And that's an issue, sure. And so that's a that's why that joke that I told was funny for the non sports guys out there. Okay, uh, and I, back to the podcast. So I would like to say, uh, just to update everybody on my progress, touchdown Nabby did my team did yep. triumph over my father in law this week. Ooh, uh, how often uh, have you brought that up? I have not yet because I haven't checked till now. And apparently, I beat him by fifty points. I cut That's off a my lot. father's wow. head, and I put him in the ground. For you, Griff, he fired you once, and now yeah. I'm firing him from football. With Good the, with big points. Great, yeah, I appreciate that. My son still talks a lot about how one Tommy is the strongest man he knows. Um, yeah. and two, that it's very funny that he fired me. And so, will that's, you please tell him what I what I have done did? For you. What yeah, I, I will let him know that Uncle Mr. Justin Holmes did what everybody did yeah. together. Yeah, for um, sure. This is an advice show. I mean, yeah, most of it's sports advice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's all we know. It's all we know. You come here for two reasons. One, fancy football advice. Two, yes. a recap of the Tom Brady commercial where he fucks the mattress in a vault. Those are the two reasons you come here every week, week after week. I see it. I see people, they still X about it <laughs> left and right. They're Listen. Xing. They're Xing over here. They're Xing over there. Everybody's Xing about fancy football I'm advice. Fi- hmm? I'm too fired up, and Valerie in the booth says we got to take a break. We'll be right back with Skin Pigs. Don't go anywhere. Oh my God. Ba-na-na-na-na. Skin <laughs> so Pigs sounds is like. The, is the name Skin of Pigs f- sounds like the, mo- like the most demented murderer. Like <laughs> cultist, like a murder cult, like no, just gonna feed, feed or, him to the skin pigs, or like a football, an amateur football radio show that is broadcast to twenty to twenty three mid market radio stations every single month. That's right, and, and that is skin pigs that coming at you, Columbus skin pigs. skin pigs live in Columbus. Hey, Des Moines, coming at you live. It's skin pigs. Oh, oh Boise, it's skin pigs. <laughs> You can just use those tags. Yeah, you can just use those tags. Hey, what's up, Petaluma? We're coming for you this week. The Skin Pigs are broadcasting live from the Senior Frogs. This is Hog Flesh. We've Pirate Radio taken over the feed on Hog Flesh. <laughs> what up? It's Oink Meat. It's Oink Meat here. Oink Meat's We're taking over from Get hog the fuck flesh. out of here, Oink Meat. This is Hog Flesh's time in the studio. No, it's Oink Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oink meat, skin pig, and hog flesh. We're the three hosts of fantasy the football. Three demon hosts of this football podcast. Welcome to Football Boys hosts. with Oink Meat, Hog Flesh, and Skin Pigs. I used to love Oink Meat. It's mainly incantations now. And yeah. that is yeah. troubling. They're trying to summon dark forces into our world. Mm-hmm. This is an advice show. Please. <laughs> <laughs>